growing up, I feel like I got this vibe that like, if I was a Christian, I had to have all the answers. There's been a huge transformation from that mentality that I, that I felt this stress of having to know the answers for everything um, to feeling lost, like I have the answers for nothing, and then coming back around to the middle, which is where I find myself now, where I don't have the answers, but picking a quick answer, quicking a Bible answer, just so I don't have to think about it, really isn't good enough for me anymore. Um, and I want to be really researched and well-educated um, on what I think and why. And um, part of that is researching the Bible, whether I believe it or not, researching other books, researching, you know, spending time alone by myself, figuring out what my soul has to say about it, um, and trusting that um, God has me in the right place right now. There's some things that you you really believe strongly and those are the things you hold with a, a closed hand that that's what you believe you've thought it through you and that's where you're at there's other things where maybe you're still asking questions and still wondering and need more information and more data to make a good decision so you hold those things with an open hand so i'd say in general i there's more things that i hold with an open hand than my parents my parents have more issues that they hold with closed hands whether that's just because they're older, you know, they've been on the earth a little bit longer than me, have had more time to uh, come to firm convictions on things, or whether that's more the tendency of the generation that they were taught to hold things with a closed hand, and, and our generation is probably leaning more towards holding things with an open hand as we, just with the globalization, we realize how many people are different from us, and we think, I can't hold as much with a closed hand. Uh, it would be um, a little bit arrogant to do so in light of all this new information that's flooding in. So that's probably a generational shift that's taking place. And also, I'm just, I'm young. I'm 22 years old. Um, still have a lot of life to live, hopefully. So, so I'm willing to hold a lot of things with an open hand and keep asking questions and keep uh, learning.